So we have just had the back row of Iberia there on row one. So Hello and welcome to Theme Park today where well, we are back here at Bill Park. We're back here for Hyperia, the tourist advice ri uh, ride in the country. Obviously the uh, other week we went on the old tourist advice ride, the big one in the Blackpool. If you've not watched the Blackpool vlog yet, make sure you go and watch that. We've got Blackpool Pleasure Beach and we've got Madison Resort Sea Life, Blackpool Tower Eye and Golf all on the channel for you to watch. So make sure you go and watch that right now back here to experience Hyperia and it is better than a big one I can now officially say that let's go We have just been on Hyperia and we got row nine, just one from the back. Uh, that is the furthest back I have been on it, and I tell you what, it really does whip you over that first drop, and it does feel a lot faster at the back. We did uh, have a little bit of a wait because it had a uh, delay, but yeah, I really do love Hyperia. I do wish that it was longer, but you know. It's still a great ride. It definitely beats uh, the big one. That's got to be rough now. But yeah, Hyperia here at Thor Park. If you're not beating it yet, what are you doing? Come and try it. So we have just been on big easy bumpers, the bumper cars here at Thor Park. Always great to get on bumpers, lots of bumping going on. It's always got a nice short queue here, just less than 10 minutes to get on there. So it's always nice having a go here, especially when it's a short queue. We have just been on the swarm i do like that ride uh probably my second favorite ride in the bar make sure you watch the top 10 uh full park videos if you've not done so find out what my top 10 rides are in this park but yeah i do like the swarm it's a classic nice coaster over back in 2012 first time i wanted it was uh june 2006 eight years ago now wow time flies
we have just had the back row of Iberia. Yes, we had row nine earlier. We went back on it and we had the back row of Iberia. I think it is much, much different. At the back, it feels faster. You get more air time. It is a lot different. Is it better? I don't know. I'm not really sure what my favorite seat on Hyperia is yet. Uh, in September, in a few weeks time, we are coming here to ride Hyperia all day. The only ride we're going to ride, providing it is open all day. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and look out for that video because that's going to be interesting. Right, Hyperia all day. It's coming up on the channel in September. Don't miss that. So we have just been on stealth for the fastest accelerated coaster in the world. The UK actually has two world records, stealth fast accelerating and smiler the most loops. Yeah, do like stealth, obviously it's not the fastest ride at all park anymore, being like that for ages. Um, but yeah, it's, it's second fastest. Obviously I feel really beat it by one or two miles though. We have just done Nemesis Inferno, still my most uh, ridden ride out of any ride, out of any coaster. That was the first coaster, first big coaster I ever did. We have just done detonator there. What I dropped out of that is it just drops you classic good uh, drop tower. Doesn't beat Paul Ventura, but it's still a nice uh, drop tower. Been at the maintenance for a couple of months, but it's finally open. Some of the seats don't work though, they have uh, right, said it has to come round and open the manly. It's a bit poor after being under uh, maintenance. Of course, we've got to go and try the South End's new drop tower, and that is coming up on the channel very soon. So make sure you subscribe for that. We're not too busy here for Bar Day, and the weather's nice. It's going to be high over the weekend. We go to South End, and just are coming up. Just had our second ride of the day on stealth, 0 to 18, 1.8 seconds, amazing. So we have just been on the swarm, it is much better than Furious Baco in uh, Paul Ventura. That ride is just a horrible wind goes to the swarm, lovely and smooth. So, that was our second ride of the day on it. We are not doing Colossus or Saw today. We don't really fancy a headache today. They're a bit too rough, we're avoiding them today. We're gonna go and have a fourth ride on Iberia. I'm not sure if I said we had a third ride, but we did sneak in a third ride. We had row 10. So yeah, it's been an interesting day for Iberia. We had row nine. Oh, by the way, there's a little van area here. You wanna come and cool off? Uh, we had row 9 once, row 10 twice, so a very interesting day for Hyperia today. <laughs> yeah, as I say, Sawn Cross is a rubbish ride in the park, 
recording those today and next time so we have had four goes on uh, Hyperia today and uh, we finished off there on row one so we have had row 10 twice row nine once and row one once a little different experience being in row one than row 10 i mean you go down the lift hill a bit faster on row 10 or it feels like it and you get more air time i think air time may be similar you might get slightly more in row 10 but row one is actually a good row to be in uh, i think i prefer both but row one might just about top it off um so that completes our day here now at thor park we've had a pretty good day well afternoon actually we didn't arrive till nearly 12 o'clock but yeah good afternoon uh lots of rides done although we had a couple of breaks down we had a breakdown on hyperia a breakdown on nemesis inferno uh, but yeah, we got everything done that we wanted to do. As I said, we stayed off Soren Colossus today because those are, you know, rough rides, headache rides. They're still okay to do every now and then, but you know, they are uh, rough rides. Did the drop tower, did the doldrums. Yeah, so a great afternoon here at Thor Park. Good to get back. Don't forget, in September, we're going to come in, hopefully, obviously, hopefully, that is the plan. We're going to come in and ride Hyperia all day and get our ride count up on that. Looking forward to that, so make sure you subscribe to the channel for that. That's going to be coming up in September. But before that, we've got plenty of stuff coming up. We've got South End coming up for you. Uh, we've got Chesington, we've got Alder Towers, and we've also got Portons Park on the way for the very first time coming up. So lots to look forward to. So make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Smash a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.